What's going on guys and gals, DJBTM here bringing you guys some brand new videos today. We're going to be doing a product unboxing if you guys saw it right at the beginning. Sorry if it's really bright. Um, I've got the flash on uh, so you guys can see it properly. Um, so we're going to get to it uh, as always guys. This is a little bit different today. We're going to try something a little bit different. But we got the PlayStation TV. Um, I ended up picking it up on Boxing Day sales. I don't know if you guys have Boxing Day in the States. Um, not trying to be mean or anything. I just really don't know. I know you guys have Black Friday, and that's become a thing in Canada now. Um, so the PlayStation bundle, the TV bundle, the one that I picked up, it, it's normally like $130 plus, I think, $140 in Canada. I ended up getting it for $79. Bucks. So I can't complain. That's not even the right price. Uh, so the one that you get, you get the PlayStation TV, an 8 gig memory card, a controller, and then a game for uh, a game voucher. So we're going to open it up, kind of just do a product unboxing. I haven't done one of these in a while, except for like a controller here and there. So it pretty much just kind of tells you what you need compatible with the remote player for PlayStation 4. Uh, you can use a DualShock 4 or a DualShock 3, which is kind of cool. I have both, so it's not a big deal. But it's a free controller. It's an extra 10 bucks to get a game and a memory card with it. So it tells you, all you gotta do is plug it into your TV, plug it into an outlet, and then into your TV, connect to a network, buy a Wi-Fi or Ethernet, um, and then you just play, which is really cool. Um, I'm really excited to be able to just kind of like play Lego games and stuff upstairs in my room instead of having to like come down here all the time um, to, the, to the setup. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna open this up. So looking right out of the box, oh, we're gonna spin that back around. Uh, so once you open up right out of the box, you get the DualShock 3, just a standard DualShock 3 controller. Nothing fancy. Uh, looks like every other DualShock 3 controller. Uh, gives you a nice, beautiful, looks like USB to charge your, uh, yeah, USB, micro, micro USB, no, mini USB. Mini USB to charge your PlayStation 3, your DualShock 3. Uh, and then as you go in the box, you get the memory card, little 8 gig memory card. Um, which is stupid because Sony has their stupid little PS Vita things, um, their memory cards, which I think is the dumbest thing, but whatever. I, I don't know. I hate the proprietary things. Uh, so PlayStation 3, pretty much is probably just going to tell you about the DualShock 3, and I'm right. So once you get into there, you got the game voucher for Lego. Kind of spin that around so you can see it a little bit better. So PlayStation TV, the Lego movie. We'll kind of pull that out of the box. So just a little uh, download code. I don't know. There we go. I didn't want to like spin it around. It just tells you how to use it. Pretty simple. Um, what else is? I don't even know what these things are. It's all in French. Tell me in can. Tell me in English. So you get the best out of your remote play using a wired connection, um, which I actually got a router for Christmas to do because none of my systems are on. Uh, like on a router, they're not wired. They're all wireless. So I'm kind of excited for that. So we're going to just dump this out. Oh, i got stuff flying everywhere. Alright, so it comes in this nice little box. How the heck do you open this thing up? Looks like this is the right way. Alright, I don't know how big this thing is. Like, I, oh, I honestly have no idea. Sorry, I'm not trying, to, uh, not trying to make you guys sick or anything. It's a little power adapter. Pretty standard. Just seems like a normal... Not nine, nine. Uh, just a normal, normal Sony product that has not. It's just not a normal full connector. It's just got the two connectors. Um, HDMI cable, pretty standard. Just a normal HDMI cable. Nothing special about that. More instructions on probably how to set it up. We don't care about that. Probably more instructions on the warranty. Some in French. Quick start guide. We don't need that. Wow, this thing is tiny. Holy crap. We're going to get this thing out of here. I'm going to pause the video really quick. You're going to see me back in a second. My I can only record five minutes at a time. So I'll be right back. Give me one second, then we'll unbox it. Ooh, are you ready? What's going on, guys? We're back. Sorry, my flash wasn't working for some reason, so I had to change that. All right, so the piece to resistance, the P the resistance for those of you who speak French. This thing is tiny, like I said. I thought this thing was going to be, like, pretty big. I can't even open this thing up. There we go. I thought it was going to be way bigger. This thing is, like, really, really tiny. This is smaller than the Elgato. That's kind of badass, not going to lie. So, if this would focus... 
there we go. PlayStation TV, the model. I don't want to show you guys my serial number. Get out of here. 16 amp, 1.6 amp. So nothing made in China. So the ports on the side, pretty standard. Your power looks like that looks like a the memory card slot. USB, HDMI, Ethernet, and the power right on the other side. I can't point there because my fingers aren't long enough. And then on this side, just a standard Sony with that high gloss finish. Of course, it's already freaking full of fingerprints because that's high gloss. A nice little embossed logo. It's actually, if you can hear it, it is engraved on there, which is actually really nice. Nice little touch. Um, Sony is pretty good for um, their product stuff. It's generally pretty damn good, I'm not going to lie. PS Vita. I have no idea what this is. Um, really not going to lie. I think this is a connector for PS Vita. I don't know. I'm trying to, I'm trying to open this thing. I don't want to break anything. Oh, God. I think I have it. It's right there. Come on. Get out. Get out of the hole. I think if I go from the bottom. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. I don't know what that did. Oh, PS Vita games. That's dope. That's really cool. I never I didn't notice I didn't know that. Notice? I didn't I didn't understand. So you can actually play PS Vita games in there. That's really cool. Um, and I know you can also download them to your memory card, probably some save states, whatever you want to call it. So that's, uh, that's what you get with uh, the PlayStation TV. Um, uh, not the beautiest, the beautiest, the uh, the most beautiful of unboxing scenes. It's kind of a horror, horrible mess. It's kind of scary. Just finished encoding some videos. So, you know, I got that PlayStation up. Man, NFL. Look at all those games. Nothing else too special, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, um, I'm probably going to do some tests on this. Hopefully bring you guys like a product review on it. Um, and not just the unboxing, but like I said, it's it's really cool. It's a really cool product that you can play your PlayStation 4 games um, upstairs and in a different room of your house. I think it has Netflix and stuff on it as well. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure it has some, something like that. Otherwise, why would you call it PlayStation TV? I think that's the whole point of it. Or maybe it just does your PlayStation stuff. Either way, it's really cool. Um, but that's all for today, guys. Like I said, I'm really glad you guys tuned in. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the beard as much as the girlfriend is. She seems to really like it. Um, but that's all for today, guys. It's getting kind of long. It's getting real long. Real long. But hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I keep saying that, but that's totally fine because I want you guys to enjoy it. Let me know in the comment section down below. Have you guys got the PlayStation TV yet? Have, do you guys use the DualShock 4 with it or the DualShock 3? How many controllers can you use on it? I want to know. Probably 4 because that seems pretty normal. Let's see. Maybe can you... you let's see. Uh, I can't see because the flash is in my eyes and I'm kind of blind. I'm going to guess 4 players. Let me know in the comments down below how many players you guys can use on this. My guess is it's a, uh, it's probably four, which seems kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. It shows two controllers there, but I think it's just the two different ones you can use. But you, uh, you guys, tell me, like I said, in the comment section down below. Maybe I'll figure out when I'm testing it. But really hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, guys, leave a like, hit that comment button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Do you guys enjoy these product unboxings? Um, I don't have a lot of money, but this is a little things that I can kind of do. Um, we'll do another controller unboxing within the next month or so. Um, once I get a new uh, Cinch One, Cinch Xbox One controller, uh, which I'm really excited for. There's some cool features on there um, that I'm really excited to show you that I haven't done a product review on yet. Uh, we're going to have four button layouts. We're going to have the remappable layout. Hopefully grip. Shh, I didn't say that. But uh, hopefully maybe some grip options. Uh, that'll be coming up there in the uh, the near future. Um, we'll do, uh, I think I'm going to get some chrome on there. I want to do like a Spider-Man themed controller. We'll see. I got a, I got two blue and green controllers. And I got a purple, orange, and black controller. So we'll figure out what color we want to do. Um, and we'll go from there. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. As always guys, leave a like. Like I said, hit that comment button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This has been your friendly neighbor of DJBTM signing out. And I hope to see you guys all back tomorrow. PlayStation TV. Oh, bye bye now. Get it.